Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to create a new project in Latex Architect and this is what Latex Architect looks like when you first start it up. Uh, simply go to the new project link uh, and, and click on it. Uh, you, this will take you to a new project dialog and the first thing to specify is the profile uh, that matches your project. So Latex supports a large number of technologies which have been split up into different profiles. The embedded profile, for instance, supports the C and C++ module as well as a few other modules as well. The Enterprise Java module, on the other hand, supports the Java module as well as several associated Java technologies. The Enterprise.NET module supports the Microsoft technologies such as .NET and C and C++ and SQL Server. The Complex System profile uh, is used to uh, is used when you are creating a project for your own systems uh, where data is brought in through Excel spreadsheets or XML files uh, and even uh, models. Uh, and finally, there is always an option to use all modules, in which case uh, you will get all of the modules, uh, the choice to select all of the modules. So for this project, we'll use the Enterprise Java module and we'll click on next, which will take us to the next screen. The first thing we do is to specify the name of the project, and I'm going to call that project Ant, simply because we're gonna load something about Ant. Next, we choose the module type, and these are the module types which are part of the Java profile. So you can see that Hibernate and Spring are Java technologies. For this project, we'll simply choose Java because we're gonna look at Java bytecode. Once you choose the module type, you can see that you can spec your, your input can be jar files or class files or zip files. And in fact, if you have war files and ear files, they'll appear on the, uh, on the browser on the right hand side uh, where you'll be able to expand war and ear just like any other directory. So navigate your way to the directory that's of where your jar files happen to be and simply select the jar files that you're interested in loading and you can load as many jar files as you want. Once you have selected the jar files, uh, you can choose uh, an initial view. So let's choose DSM as the initial view, which will, with, when Latex loads the project, it will create that initial view. Notice also that there are a number of options that you can specify when you create projects, as in what to exclude, what to include, uh, uh, and a variety of other ways of partitioning and grouping. Uh, but for now, this should be sufficient for most people. So simply come in and create a project. And at this point, Latex is going through the jar file and extracting the information. And what we see is an initial DSM, which reflects the default uh, decomposition that's already present in it. And that default decomposition is by jar file, which then decomposes into various packages, which then decompose into classes, methods, and so on. And then once you have the, the project loaded, you have the full power of Latex um, and, and the full power of Latex analysis available to you, and you can change and alter this hierarchy in any way you choose. <laughs>